Good morning, everyone. We're going to begin our prayer of the Mass this morning as we pray our prayer in this time of the coronavirus. As we pray, loving and healing God, we the people of Holy Family Parish turn to you in prayer, confident that you are with us and with all people in every moment. We stand before you as people of hope, trusting in your care and protection. May your faithful love support us and soothe the anxiety of our hearts. Generous God, fill us with compassion and concern for all others, both young and old, that we may look after one another in these challenging times. Bring healing to those who are sick with the virus and be with their families. Strengthen and protect all medical professionals in caring for the sick and all who work in our medical facilities. Give wisdom to leaders in health care and government that they may make right decisions for the well-being of everybody. We pray in gratitude for those in our country who will continue to work in the days ahead in so many fields of life for the sake of each one of us. Bless and keep them safe. God of creation and life, we place ourselves in your protection. May the mantle of your peace enfold on us this day and every day, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue the prayer of the Mass now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And welcome back to Holy Family here in South Pasadena. We're delighted you join us with our live streaming Mass today. And as we offer our Mass this morning, we offer it for, to honor the memory of Winston Tan. And we also remember in our Mass, Rene Kidd. We pray that both enjoy the company of God in heaven. Today we gather again in the Lord's presence. We continue our journey of Lent. Moses dealing with the people who are now worshiping a golden calf. The Lord battling with the scribes and Pharisees who were intent on doing him down. In the challenges of our daily lives, we acknowledge our lack of faith. The times we have failed to trust our Lord, we ask his forgiveness and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, O Lord that you may cause your servants, corrected by penance and schooled in good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We listen now to God's word in our readings. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it, and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord? Should your wrath blaze up against your own people, 
whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Oreb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Am, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want me to come and to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. 
For if I had believed Moses, for sorry, if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. We have an amazing contrast across our readings today between Moses in his interactions with the people and between Jesus and his interactions with the Jews. When I think of the first reading, I'm reminded of my own school days. Everything went beautifully when teacher was in class, but when teacher stepped out for a few moments, things got very noisy. Pencils and pens sometimes got thrown around. Things could get a little bit noisy and messy. But the teacher could always restore order. There was always the threat of the master, who back then, 50 years ago, could encourage people to study and work harder with the help of a stick. Moses has gone up Mount Sinai, where he's receiving not just the Ten Commandments, but as an instruction from God as to how God's people might be formed and might live out those commandments. He eventually, God himself tells Moses, you have to go back to the people. They're now worshiping a molten calf, and God wants to go back and straighten them out. He will punish them for this. But through the intercession of Moses, the Lord relents. Imagine that. Moses could convince God to change his mind and not punish the people. Then we move one and a half thousand years forward to Jesus. We guessed on Tuesday when Jesus asked, performed a miracle on the Sabbath, asked the man to pick up his mat and walk, and then explain it by telling people he was the Son of God, might become a challenge. And today Jesus is in the midst of the challenge. And when the Jews, the scribes and Pharisees are asking why he did this, he says, but you have the scriptures who foretold that the Messiah would come. You had John the Baptist, who you worshipped but then imprisoned, foretold that I would come. I have come among you. I have done these miraculous deeds. Why do you still not believe? And while Moses could change the mind and actions of God, Jesus could not convince his listeners to change their ways. It would be Jesus who would eventually be on the cross. And echoing the words of Moses, he would say, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. As we hear these challenging scriptures today, Perhaps we acknowledge the ways in which our lives have been forced to change in recent days and weeks. We bring to mind those who are struggling today, the parts of our country, the parts of our world really struggling with the coronavirus. Our lives have changed. Indeed, the way we pray has changed, and we thank you for joining us through lives streaming and supporting our work here in Holy Family. We will turn to the Lord now, asking the Lord to support and continue to bless our efforts, not just our efforts to pray together and to be transformed by the scriptures we hear, but also for God's protection for those who work with the sick and for the Lord to bless those working to find a cure and resolution. Lord, in faith, we ask you to transform our hearts as we turn to you now in prayer.
As we gather this morning, we ask you to bless our church throughout the world and across the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. As we make this lengthened journey together, we ask you to guide our steps and to help us always to stay close to you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in leadership across our world. We pray for our own leadership in the country, that they will make decisions that will help all citizens, especially those who are sick at this time, providing for them, restoring their health, supporting those who work to make them well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are finding life difficult today. We think of those who are confined to home, those maybe who are lonely, those whose lives are embraced by worry and fear. Lord, give each of us courage and patience. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As always, we pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are sick in so many ways, but especially those with the coronavirus at this time. Lord, be their healing, their strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As always, we remember our faithful departed. As we offer our Mass this morning, we offer it to honor the memory of Winston Tan, for whom this Mass is offered. And we also remember Rene Kidd, whose anniversary also occurs at this time. Lord, may all our faithful departed live in happiness and peace with the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask the intercession of our Mother Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. God, we ask you to receive us and please the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. And we pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church, and the prayer over our gifts today. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience made glory in the fullness of the heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
for through bodily fasting you restrain our falls, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven worship together in exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And together we proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, with the bishops, the clergy, and all of God's people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United as his children, we pray together now the words our Saviour left us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. We take a moment again to pray for peace in, my, in our own hearts. We pray for peace in our home, in our parish, in our country. We offer that peace to those who are close to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And we make an act of spiritual communion this morning. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We ask our Mother Mary's intercession as I pray. Remember, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, the great things the Lord has done for you. He chose you for his mother. He wanted you close to his cross. He gives you a share in his glory. He listens to your prayer. Offer him our prayers of praise and thanksgiving. Present our petitions to him. Let us live like you in the love of your Son that his kingdom may come. Lead all to the source of living water that flows from his heart, spreading over the world hope and salvation, justice and peace. See our trust in you, answer our prayers, and show yourself always our mother. Amen. And let us pray. May this sacrament we have received sacramentally and spiritually purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant us, your servants, freedom from all blame, that those bound by guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of your heavenly remedy. Because God, our protector of all who hope in you, we ask your blessing on your people. Keep us safe, defend us, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, we may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And in a moment we will have our final blessing at this Mass, 
And after that final blessing, you're asked and invited, if you wish, to remain and continue in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament in prayer in these coming moments or at any time throughout the day as we continually ask God's blessing on, and protection on each one of us. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace to glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God.